what's going on, Aries. We're checking the energy for singles. Now everybody was asking me to do this. Um, so we're just going to see what's going on, okay? What types of energies are coming toward you, what you are going to see, what you're going to deal with, etc. Let's start off here. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for finding me once again. If you have purchased a reading or donated to my page, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you. You guys keep a smile on my face. Um, also, for those that have been asking, um, I have revamped my website, um, pulling everything through Shopify. Um, I thank you if you guys have ordered um, one of my body butters. Um, I'm so grateful. I've been busy. So thank you guys all for keeping me busy, my loves. I don't know what I would do without you. Okay. Hopefully that's low enough. And I'm not getting high. Let's see so you can see this in the camera. We got two more cards. All right. So first we're looking at your energy as it is, okay? So you had a lot of people playing with your time and your, your energy. OK, you had a lot of people not coming in the way that they needed to. You had people coming in and out of your life, um, wanting and wishing you back as well. OK, they may have been playing with your time. They may have been playing with your um, with your need to have uh, a certain type of intimacies as well. OK, um, these are people that were not for your highest good. They were talking about you behind your back. These are people that. Um, indulged in things behind your back that you may not have uh, been privy to or you may not have wanted to um, indulge in. So scenario, um, you may have been dealing with people that may have liked to go to strip clubs or something like that. And you may not be the type that likes to do that. However, they had a whole bunch of people that they dealt with that like to do those things and they may not have told you when they were doing that, okay? So that's the energy coming through here. Now, whoever um, you were dealing with before, they may have kept you in some sort of thought process that had you stuck because you're trying to figure out like what's going on. If for those of you that live with this person, you may have said, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. And for those of you that didn't live with this person or, uh, or whoever you were dealing with uh, previous to this reading, you may have wondered what was going on in that person's house. So in other words, who's going there? Who who do they have over when they're not answering the phone? I'm getting this. Um, who's coming in and out of their life and who are they dealing with? Um, when, you know, this person may have liked to, um, this person may like to go out and have a good time uh, with their friends, whether masculine or feminine. And, you know, going out and having a good time, they like to be loose. And when I say loose, like just free, just enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the drinks and stuff of that nature. And a lot of times when that happens, you know, people get in a mix, you start talking or what have you, and some things go down, you know, it just is what it is. So this is the energy that you are in, okay? Now, Aries, this could also be you doing these things. I just want to put that out there. Um I'm never coming for Aries. I love you guys. I'm, I'm, you're my sister sign. Um, it's just, I have to tell, you know, what I see. You know, a lot of times people, people don't like my Aries videos because of what I'm saying. But I tell you one thing, I do have a lot of Aries clients. And they tell me that a lot of times, you know, um, they know what I'm talking about. So, listen, no, lo uh, no love lost here. I love you guys. Um, I love all the signs. I have no issues with any, but I, I just need to say what I see. Um, so look, um, whoever you guys were dealing with, um, that something may have ended in a winter time while it was cold outside. Um, this person could also be born in the winter Aries. Um, either you're needing to end something with this person, um, or, 
you have ended something with this person. Um, and now Spirit is saying, you know what, it's time for you to go forward. Now, in the past, Aries, you've chosen, you know, free, you know, your free will. You've you've utilized it and you've chosen um, some people, places and things, you know, that may not have um, been what you were needing to choose at that time. OK, and you may have had some turbulence that followed. Um, but Spirit is saying now is a time for you to call in exactly what it is that you see is a perfect fit for you. OK, um, because you're worth it. You know, um, you've been dealing with a lot of adverse energies. You've been dealing with people um, that have been taking from you or not wanting to give um, what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to your energy, you, you know, um, you guys are really worthy of something beautiful. But you have to believe that. Right. Um when I look at this mischief play fantasy card, it tells me that you guys like a certain type of person or like a type of energy or you like a person that will be down with certain things that most people won't be down with. And that's usually the downfall. OK, because you get involved with people that will appease you on one end, but then they end up not being who you need them to be on all the other ends. Right. So like if you have someone that satisfies you intimate, uh, intimately, excuse me, they may not be the cook, the cleaner, you know, the person that's, you know, the PTA parent um, type of energy that you guys may want in your life okay so you just got to be really careful about what you're choosing now okay um so spirit is telling me that you guys really do want someone that puts in the work right with the spider here um you also want someone that's a good communicator um for me when i see this card and i see the spider on the mouth you know spiders you know what they do is they work silently um, and they get things right, okay? Um, but because this is on the mouth and the spider is there, I'm feeling like the work needs to come uh, in, the, in the form of a communication. You guys may not be used to someone that communicates effectively with you. Um, they may, you know, whoever you're dealing with may go behind your back and may talk about you or may have other people approach you, you know, and they're not really direct or they're not as... Um, attentive with the communication as you would like for them to be so going forward i see that this is something that you are requesting from the universe god source spirit hey i want someone that wants to work on some things and that doesn't mind talking about it okay so let's continue who is this person coming into aries life? okay we do see here it could be someone um that holds a lot of your values. I'll just put it that way. Okay. So when I see this card here, we see we, we see this here, returning, belonging, um, guided light. But for here, it's right next to mischief play fantasy. So you like I said, you guys may be calling in someone that has um, some of the same types of thought patterns or needs as you um but let's see here all right you're calling in someone that is going through something similar right so they're going to be um understanding when they come in okay so this person is currently going through um uh or ending a relationship where they were in something toxic okay so this is someone um that they're trying to gain control back they're trying to make sure that they don't make the same types of decisions going forward so they don't want to have a person that is trying to control them but yet someone that wants to con communicate as you do um so that is something that is similar with you um this person may be going through a divorce right now okay or or moving towards one um by the way aries i see you know for my readings it's generally between now six months to one year from the time that i do 
um, these readings. So you guys want to keep me posted on what happens with this. But this person is going through a divorce or, or is going through some sort of mediation or settlement right now. Okay, where they were dealing with someone uh, that was possessive, someone that liked to control their their moves, you know, control the money. Um, and they may have felt like this person didn't give them a voice. Okay, but coming to you, they, they're going to feel like they can finally open up. They can finally express themselves. Um, and this is going to be something that's beautiful for you as well, Aries. Now, this person is a, a God-fearing person. This person may be religious, okay? Um, and they've been praying for you, Aries. Right? They've been praying for someone like you um, to come into their life, to uh, be someone that... Um, will um, help them forgive themselves is what I'm feeling here. On this card, it says repenting, seeking forgiveness, self-forgiveness, restoring faith. So as this person gets to know you and as you are interacting with this person, Aries, I feel like this person is going to have a renewed sense of faith um, because, you know, coming out of the situation that they're in or that they're getting out of now, you know, they're not feeling too good, right? They're not feeling um, whole right now. I feel like once they meet you um, and you guys start interacting, that's going to be something else. Um, also, Aries, if this is you that likes to go out and have a good time with your friends, stuff of that nature, I feel like you're not going to want to do that Look at this. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. You're not going to want to do that except for with this person. And I'm going to put this card right here. You're going to be going out to dinner. You're going to be having drinks. You're going to be drinking wine. But you're going to be doing it with this person. Okay? I see a couple here. Um, not, not with your friends and not doing those things that come with being with your friends. But I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time with this person and your perceptions, you know, your perception on everything that you thought Aries was not going to make it back to you. So in other words, like I, I haven't met anyone, you know, that has this or that. Um, I feel like I'm not going to meet someone that, that checks all my boxes, etc. I feel like your perception is going to change when you meet this person. You know, you want to pay attention to all the things that are going on around you as well as you are um, going through your day to day or if you're or if you're with this person pay attention to the mannerisms pay attention to how people look at you guys pay attention to everything that could be happening okay um all of those insecurities that you have when it comes to you know things that you've been beat up on or, or about in in your relationships i feel like this person is going to come in and they're going to be able to give you a newfound sense or help you get to a newfound sense of confidence. Um, you're not going to feel like you have a connection that doesn't matter anymore. OK, um, that's the only way I could say it. Um, I feel like some of you feel like, you know, why was I even here with some people? What what did this gain me? Like, what did I get from this? And I, I don't think that you're going to feel like this with this person. I feel like you're finally going to um, have happiness, you know. Um, you're going to be in a sense of really trying to hold on to this person, hold on to the memories with them. You're going to be giving this person love notes and they're going to be giving you love notes. I feel like this is a beautiful connection, Aries. Whoever this person is uh, that's coming in, you're going to enjoy this and they will have um, a piece of your heart that no one else has, okay? Um, and that's really what you guys deserve. You guys have been through a lot, you know? Um, Oh, thank you. Yep, you, you guys have been through a lot. Now, you may have someone around you right now um, that feels like, you know, they have something that they want to tell you, okay? Um, so, a confession, you know, may be um, something that you need to hear. And what I, what I am hearing is that you may have someone around you um, that may see you as a gift, OK, this person may see you as someone that can add some change 
to their life. And they may be trying to leave a situation. Like I said, right? This person is letting go of the people that have um, done them wrong. And they're looking for a new situation uh, to where they can feel whole um, and that they can... Uh, feel like someone gets them, someone understands them. Um, this person is going to want to come in and fight for the chance with you. So where other people may have taken you for granted, Aries, I feel like this person is going to say, oh my goodness, like this is, this is everything that I needed it to be. So since this is what I've needed, you know, I want to fight for it. I want to keep it. Okay. Um, so let's see what else we have here. I want to, I want Aries to understand what they mean to me. I want Aries to understand um, what they bring to my life. Okay. That's, that's really what I'm getting. Let's see here. We're going to go through the tarot, but Spirit is asking me to pull one of these cards. Let's see what it is. What else does Aries need to know? Who... What sign may be coming into their life spirit? What sign? Okay. All right. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart. Okay. Um, that could be somebody that you're currently leaving. Or that could be the person coming in. Spirit just said, thank you, Spirit. They're just giving me the signs that may be in your energy or may be coming into your energy. I'm going to choose three cards. Okay. Could be an Aquarius or a Gemini as well. Okay. Um, I do know that you guys you know, may get along well with these signs um, as well. Okay, so hopefully, um, whoever this person is that's coming in, like I said, well, you know, you guys know, you can let me know in the comments, um, but this is what Spirit has given me. Hopefully, they'll be um, the person that you need them to be from what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident in what I see, guys. Um, so let's continue. Okay, when it comes to this person possibly being a Gemini, what does uh, Aries need to know? Yeah, that you've manifested this person, that you've been calling in this person, and you're going to feel like um, this person um, can make things happen, or they are someone that you have good luck around, um, I'm feeling. When it comes to this person, you're going to, uh, if, if this is the person that comes to you, by the way, um, you're going to feel like you like speaking to this person, you enjoy their, their energy. Um, I feel like this person could be um, a business owner. Um, this person will also have, you know, the willpower that you're looking for. Um, in previous relationships, Aries, you may have felt like people were not putting in the work, like I said before. Um, but this person has a get up and go. Um, this person has a vision of how they want their life to be. And they're, you know, constantly working at the goal. Okay. So if this person is an Aquarius... Okay, like I said, we did see that the person was going through something. So if they're an Aquarius, they're going through a transformation, right? They're letting go. They're going through endings. They're um, they're trying to release how they feel as well. Maybe purging right now. Maybe um, just going through the motions of of a breakup or separation or or divorce or something of that nature. And this person is working on. Um, understanding their worth right now, understanding what matters to them. Um, and they're, they're going to embrace uh, someone that comes in uh, like you. Now, because this person, this Aquarius energy, um, because they have not had things the way that they have wanted them, 
um, for so long. So in other words, you know, maybe their um, intimate needs have not been met or um, it hasn't been to the capacity or the intensity that they've wanted. You know, this person may come in hot and heavy. Um, if you don't want things to go, um, you know, right to that type of energy, you know, you just want to pump the brakes, Aries. Uh, but this could be something that happens, right? You could find yourself in a very quick um friends with benefits type of situation with this person that's coming in for Aries. Uh, uh, why did I say? Yeah, that's coming in for Aries, uh, this Aquarius. Um, I feel like if you, <laughs> wow. So Spirit just gave me, if you tell this person that you want to wait or you want to take it slow, this person is going to be looking for ways to basically get you to do what they want you to do um, a little faster, okay? This Aquarius energy is very mischievous as I'm feeling. That 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 mysterious and mis mischievous energy um, that was over here in this fairy card is coming up with um, Aquarius. Now, yeah, so you can pump the brakes. A person could be a Sagittarius, okay? Um, we got Scorpio and Sagittarius energy here. Um, so if you don't want that, you know, if you don't want that energy, just pump the brakes. Like I'm saying, you can tell them that you need to calm down. You know, um, I want to get to know you, but, you know, I want to take it slow based on, you know, some of the things that's happening. Um, I feel like also Aries, you know, my Aries um, clients, a lot of them are very, very handsome or very beautiful. Um, and it may be that this Aquarius person sees you as the bee's knees and really can't control themselves because of the, the attraction that they have for you. So I'm going to have to, you know, tell you guys, you know, you don't got to be looking all, you know, scrumptious, scrumdiliosis, as uh, Orlando said. <laughs> You don't want to be looking all like that um, if you want to take things slow. I mean, I know some of you can't help it. You know, you just was, you wake up like that. I get it. But um, some of you just be mindful um, that some people are not as strong as you. Okay. So if this person is a Taurus, right? This person uh, may be juggling a lot. Okay. They may be going back and forth with different situations. Um, know that this person may also be coming out of a situation um, to where they could have been married or um, in a long-term um, relationship with a person, okay? This person could be going through things to where they're having to part their money from someone else's. So they may have a little bit of uh, financial stressors. Um, I feel like this person is moving to a sense of being independent. Um, I, I'm also feeling, whether they're masculine or feminine, um, that their money has been tied with another's for so long um, that they may not understand what it takes to uh, be on their own. So this person coming in for Taurus, um, if they are a Taurus, may look for someone um, that can help them or that can be there um, to assist them. Um, and may, they may look at you, Aries, as someone that, you know, really has everything together, that knows what it is that they want. You may be very structured um, or be stable. And they see you basically as someone that can assist them. You know, you can lead them. Okay. You can um, help them gain balance. So in other words, the Taurus energy that may be coming in for Aries could be one that is looking basically to either merge their income with yours um, or to um, have you help them out financially until they're able to get on their feet. Um, so this is, <laughs> this is absolutely what I'm seeing. Um, give me one more card. Give me one more card for Aries to tie this all in, please. Yep, they see you as a leader. They see you as a leader. Capricorn energy of one person, you know, juggling a lot. We have Scorpio, we have Sagittarius, and a magician in energy out here. 
Okay, last card, guys. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. You know, um, overall, out of all three signs, you guys are going to have someone that wants to work on things with you. Um, someone that, that actually has a job. Uh, or they could be self-employed. Um, or they could be building their business. Um, they could be wanting to uh, get your input, you know, um, try to uh, get you interested or concentrated on whatever it is that they're working on. Um, this could be someone that feels like you and them can put in the hard work. You guys can build together. Um, you guys can move forward and you will be seeing some awesome results. Okay. So whether that's Taurus, Aquarius, or Gemini, someone is going to want to build with you. Okay. So you have that coming in. I'm happy for you guys. Okay. I hope everything goes the way that you guys need it to go. I send you nothing but the utmost love and light, my loves. Okay. You guys take care.